Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Today I Found Out, and in the video today, have you ever wondered why grandfather clocks are called that? Well, want to know more. At first glance, the answer seems pretty obvious. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you saw a grandfather clock in the home of anyone who's under 70 years old? Grandfather clocks with their long cases, pendulums, echoing chimes, and Roman numerals seem to belong to the world of courting parlors, Model T Fords, silent movies, and going out on a date for ice cream soda. In short, pretty much the world of our grandparents. Yes, this may seem logical and obvious, but the real reason these timekeeping devices, technically called long case clocks, picked up the grandfatherly nickname has nothing to do with grandparents per se. So, what is the real story here? Well, in 1865, an American songwriter named Henry Clay Work was visiting England. While there, he checked into the George Hotel in North Yorkshire. In the hotel's lobby was a large pendulum clock. The clock it had stopped long ago and just sort of sat there in the lobby serving no purpose whatsoever. This unmoving clock though fascinated work and he asked about its history. He was told a story by the proprietors. Whether true or not, and most likely not, isn't actually important to how the clock got its name though. The story was that the clock had belonged to the inn's previous two owners, the Jenkins brothers, who were both deceased. It seems that the clock had kept perfect time during their lives, but when the first Jenkins brother died, the clock started to become less accurate. After this, the story went that the clock stopped completely dead after the second Jenkins brother died. Now, you are probably thinking right now that maybe it stopped because, well, it was his job to wind it and nobody else wanted the task. Well, according to the story work was told, it was actually because it broke. Despite the best efforts of a host of repairmen supposedly hired by the new owners of the inn, they could not get the clock started again. Now, of course, what probably actually happened was the clock died and it was prohibitively expensive to fix but looked nice, so the new owners of the hotel came up with a great story for the clock to hide the fact that they maybe just didn't want to pay to get it fixed or have it hauled off. Well, whatever the case, the bemused work thought it was a great story. Being a songwriter, he wrote a song featuring a variation on the story. The song was called My Grandfather's Clock and it was released in 1876. The public went crazy over the song. My grandfather's clock went on to sell over a million copies in sheet music, which was fairly unprecedented for the day. Work had actually set the previous precedent, selling over a million copies of the song Marching Through Georgia, which is still commonly played by marching bands today. The previous term for grandfather clock, the rather uncatchy long case clock, was dropped almost immediately by the public in favor of the new moniker for the clocks. With the advent of digital technology and atomic clocks, some clock lovers worry that old pendulum swinging grandfather other clocks may not be long for the current timekeeping world. However, despite its inanity, H.C. Work's song lives on. It was recorded multiple times in the 20th century and as recently as 2004 by the R&B act Boys to Men. Now for a bonus fact, the first grandfather clock was created around 1680 by British clockmaker William Clement. These tall style clocks were made possible thanks to the anchor escapement system, which allowed for much smaller motion in the pendulum than used to be necessary. Before this system, pendulums in clocks needed 80 to 100 degrees of swing. After this mechanism was invented in the 1670s, a swing of just 4 to 6 degrees was all that was needed. The advantage of the longer pendulum and shallower swing is that less power, in the form of weights driving the clock was needed, as well as slower beats and less wearing on the moving parts. All of this essentially makes for a better and more accurate clock. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and do not forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, let me thank our patrons on Patreon. If you're interested in supporting us here at Today I Found Out in making these daily videos, please do consider heading over to patreon.com forward slash Today I Found Out. There's also a link in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching.